Good evening, friends. <clears throat> As you can tell, this is THQ Nordic out here. And um, this is the Titan Quest 2 gameplay release. It's just a few more minutes to go. And I'm looking very much forward to this game. Boy, am I looking forward to it. It's basically an ARPG, point and click as far as we know, but it's set in the Greek mythology. You know, Spartans, the Athenians, and all that kind of stuff. And I'm a sucker for that. I hope there's also some whole divine god stuff in there because I love that. So um, I'm going to watch over this, sort of compromise the video to get it to the good stuff. And then you guys, this is what you're seeing right now. Just want to give you a little intro on what we're actually doing right now. Oh boy, there was like four mobile games that all sucked so far. Man, this is tough to actually get to this. I hope this is now finally the game you want to see. The things I do for you guys. Sitting through this trash to finally get some info about the Titan Quest. Come on. Damn, I had to sit through so much shit for this, but finally we're here. <clears throat> Damn. Damn, this game looks good. Holy fuck. Holy. What the? That's sorcerer kind of stuff. Oh damn. I see the double double jump. Yes, also. There we go. Yes. I hope it's in, damn that water. This, holy shit, this game looks so good. I'm <laughs> fuck. Sorry about the cussing, but damn. You see the light effect from the lightning? Weapons of legend. Looks a lot like Diablo. Oh, these popped out. Oh my god, that's gonna melt my PC, isn't it? <laughs> what can he go up? Admittedly, that boss looked a little bit small. I want to have bigger bosses. Don't tell me that was it. Please don't tell me that was it. Or more. So apparently that was already it. Um, that was very anticlimactic, really. We've been really waiting for gameplay content. That was all. That was like a minute of footage. But whatever. Let's let's go over it again. The good thing about YouTube streams, you can watch them again. So what stood out to me really is obviously the design of the world looks very very good let's actually bring this down a little like this all looks very good i mean the attention to detail on the classic greek greek setup is really cool it looked way better on twitch i must say that and quality wise but um like all the grass it looks really good. i don't even know what engine they use but like running through these really old classic Greek routes, like side paths, looks really cool. Although I hope, <laughs> um, I hope it's not going to be that empty. You know, <laughs> I hope there's some monsters there. <laughs> because admittedly, it looks a bit, it's like two dudes or three dudes, right? You're fighting here. So this is really all of it. The mob size is a bit small. And compared to other games in this genre, it seems slower, like a lot slower, in how it's played. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, just very different. It's definitely not Diablo 4, even though all the transmog looks like D4, honestly. 
But speed wise, it looks slow. It's more like a Lassie Pork thing then. But here, there's no enemies. Like this lighting effect is cool and actually shows on all the. This now looks exactly like Diablo when, it, when these pop out. So, like the world design, that's very Diablo-ish. That looks really cool. It's like very, very, a lot of detail, a lot of things going on, right? If you compare with the last epoch, there's really not that much. In Diablo also, Diablo 4, there's also this lot going on. So there's a lot of stuff happening. If you like look at the ladders and all this and pottery and whatnot, there's a lot of stuff on the screen at all times. Which is cool, I like this. I like Diablo 4 looks a lot, and I like the look of this very much. Like, the design of the world is very, very cool. Also, the characters look cool, admittedly. This doesn't look cool, let's be honest here. Um, first of all, this whole boss fight has no pace whatsoever, if you look at it. It's just... What is it even doing? Just running in circles, uh, standing there while you attack it. Like if you think of last ebook, for example, the whole, or even PoE for that matter, the whole area is always filled with attacks from the boss. Right? He has huge AoE attacks on the ground that you have to dodge and, and shit. And I don't even know. Um, Diablo 4 the same. You have, you have to kite and dodge stuff all the time. This thing just stands there. So the whole boss fight seems very underwhelming, by the looks of it, like... This thing is way too slow, it doesn't do shit, that's kind of weird, just casting this one thing. Also... This boss, by the way... Should be like... 10 times bigger. This is a mythical monster, apparently, right? Why is it only like a little bit taller than our character? That, that's... This has no presence whatsoever, this thing needs to be way taller. Like, way bigger, it needs to be a massive boss. I even I never understand why they don't even make bosses so big you don't even see them on the screen properly because they're too large. So they actually have to sort of tilt the screen for like a cutscene, and then you fight it and you only see like their arms or something while you do this, like Lagon really. Um, you don't see even the whole thing. Or the world bosses, for example, in Diablo 4 are really cool when the camera has to zoom out because it's so large. This thing this uh... Come on, this is... Uh, eh. I mean, this is early. Very early, right? Very early. So I can only hope they change that. First of all, even if they don't make it bigger, at least make the pacing of that fight better, because this is... Like, that looks... Honestly, that looks boring. I'm also very amazed that they did not mention anything about the release date. It says nothing here. Literally nothing. Not even like coming to early access this year or something like that. Which I would have really hoped that we see the rest of this year, we see some early access. So really, what, the only thing we can really tell so far is that it looks really good. So that's settled. I mean, I guess that's something. Effects look cool. I really like that the water looks really good. So it's pleasing the eye. Combat. I like destroying that frozen thing. Did it actually destroy it there? It froze it and then it just exploded. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah. This, oh wait, what is this? Incompatible, incompatible with leap. Deals 10 strike damage and 2 meter radius at your launch position. 20% more landing damage. Yeah, so, um, I mean, let's go actually back to this one scene. The combat really doesn't show us very much. But honestly, the game looks really good. So that's what we know. Okay, they've been working on the graphics. I get it. That's cool. But really, it was a bit underwhelming. I was hoping we know more. <laughs> We got a little, a little bit of glimpse into how the game plays. Um, I'm, I'm gonna keep it running in the background, but um, not as much as I was expecting. I was expecting them to actually 
you see the interface, you see them clicking on things, you see them actually doing it. This is really just a trailer. I was ex expecting some actual gameplay from like a dev or something. I don't know. Um, I'm still super hyped for this game. I, I still hope it comes into early access later this year. Um, because from a trailer like this, you can't really tell much. The, the combat looks a little bit slower than usual in other RPGs, which is not necessarily a bad thing, as I said before. Um, but yeah, we don't really know much, so... We know it looks good. That's a big hype. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Do you think this looks very cool? Do you want to have more? Do you have, uh, or are you turned down already from the boss or whatever? Do you think the combat looks bad? Does it look good? Tell me what you think of it. I think the combat looks generally good. It could just be faster a little bit. But maybe that's the type of the game. Uh, the style of the game. And definitely need to change that boss fight, man. That boss fight needs, needs to be much better. Anyway, let me tell you what you think of it. And I will see you in the next video.